I'd like to let my audience know, today my guest is Jeremy Wade, and you see him on Animal Planet's River Monster. He's a biologist, an extreme explorer, they said, and an angler. Jeremy, thanks so much. You're at the Baltimore Aquarium. Tell me what you're doing there. I don't know if they're sending I Are you hearing things? Okay, they are. Uh, yeah, Baltimore Aquarium, yeah. I'm, I'm standing in front of a, a tank full of Australian fish. Uh, some of which I'm familiar with, some of you know, some of which I've seen when I'm when I when I was there a couple of years ago. Is it isn't that what the aquarium is designed to do to bring us places that we can't travel to or don't travel to? Sorry, I didn't hear that very clearly. Yeah. Uh, the, well, can you hear me better? That's a little bit better. Yes. Yeah. Great. Uh, so you're standing in front of a tank of Australian yeah, fish yeah, there. What are you doing there? Um, well, in fact, I was, uh, um, I was giving a talk here at the aquarium uh, yesterday, and uh, it just seemed like a nice, a nice backdrop for just, uh, you know, talking to anybody who wants to talk. Well, great. Are you talking about Animal Planet's River Monster to the audience? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, th I think uh, you know the first program went out on Sunday. It's it's going now uh, Sunday nights, nine o'clock Eastern time, and um, we, you know we're hoping it'll do very well. We had a very interesting time filming it. Um, fifth season now. I mean, we're, we were starting to think that we were running out of stories, maybe, but we did a bit of digging and lateral thinking, and we got some very diverse stories, including right at the end, um, we're looking into the Loch Ness monster myth. Ooh, <laughs> let me, I gotta watch so I can find out how that turns out. You know, you go to places such as Southeast Asia, Zaire, the People's Republic of uh, Congo, India. Is there any place you want to go now to continue to tell your story? Um, I've, there's still a few countries that I haven't been to. Um, I mean, the great thing about this job is I do get to travel places I'd never go otherwise. I mean, I was traveling on my own before I was doing it on TV, but I, I would do it at a much slower pace. I might go sort of one place per year, but I, but I, would, I would take my time and I would, I would go deep there. I'd, I'd stay maybe two or three months. And you know, when we're shooting, it's, it's uh, two or three weeks. Um, my background is particularly tropical rainforest. And, and what I particularly like about making these shows is actually getting into some more um, mountainous regions you know i think the you know, the scenery is a little bit more uplifting in places like uh you know new zealand mongolia um places where there's a little bit in the way of contour to the landscape when you go and travel on your show do you have a, a you said different places but is the rainforest like the amazon is that your your favorite place to go and why um, I wouldn't say it's necessarily favourite, but that, that's the environment that I'm most familiar with. Uh, that's where I've spent most time. Um, I, before I was working on TV, I'd made three trips to the Central African rainforest, the Congo, and um, and then after that, um, I, I spent I think it was ten years going to the Amazon every every year. So I spent a lot of time in rainforests. So I sort of feel. I feel sort of fairly comfortable and at home. But I, I like a bit of diversity as well. I like these other environments. Um, one very unusual environment we actually filmed in for this season was the, um, the cooling pond of the Chernobyl uh, nuclear power plant. That's not necessarily somewhere I thought I'd end up fishing, but that was a very interesting story that came out of there, quite unlikely sounding, and that was, you know, it was right up our street in terms of an investigation that I could go and follow up and hopefully, hopefully find a fish at the end of. When does your uh, show, uh, your new season, or your show air on Animal Planet? It's it's on Animal Planet in the U.S. Yes. And okay, and we'll we'll find out when and what date and all of that kind of stuff. If I, before I let you go, what yeah, you, you're an extreme angler. No, are, are you the new fisherman? Sorry, mother what fisherman? Are, are you the new breed of fisherman? Um, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've been fishing since I was a kid, but I, I do actually say to people, it's not really a fishing show. Um, it does include fishing. Um, fishing for me is, I'd say it's more of a means to an end. My background is in, uh, is in biology. I used to be a teacher. And in fresh water, the thing about fresh water is you can't really see what's down there. It's not like the sea where you can send somebody in with a camera. So the only way anybody's going to see what's in fresh water is normally just to put a line in and, and see what comes out. So. 
uh, my motivation, I mean, a lot of people who fish, the motivation is curiosity. Um, but yes, it, had, it has an adventure aspect to it. I mean, it, you know, angling tends to be very niche and I've just got this very strange, unusual niche. There's not very many other people in that niche, but maybe as a result of the program, more people might just take themselves off in some of these strange places and see what they find. Well, Jeremy Wade, thank you for talking to us about uh, Animal Planet's River Monster right there from the Baltimore Aquarium. And uh, continue to be kind to the environment. We really appreciate that. Thanks very much. It's been a pleasure talking to you.